And for him to come on, both of them Morgan batsmen set, match in the balance, Kent desperate for a wicket. Let's see how he responds. Oh. <laughs> well, that's sharp. Not Adrian bad. Day on those he's around. Yes, it's not, not bad for a loosener. Here he comes, fairly straightforward action, short, banged in, and uh, I'm not sure, not sure Alan Dale enjoyed that enormously. He ducked, but he ducked almost posthumously. And already now a slip going in, and the right tactics, I think, are used by Steve Marsh, who has to take wickets. through Dale before he realised as well. A bouncer followed by attempted Yorker, not a bad uh, policy. Odd really if he's regarded as a, one of the real attacking bowlers in the Kent side that he's been saved until, you know, the 25th over. <laughs> and there's a pattern developing. Bouncer Yorker, Bouncer Yorker. Get ready to hook the next one. That's well played by Dale, right up in the block hole. It's quite a pace to Marsh. Certainly the quickest over of the day. Yes, let's see where Marsh takes that ball. On the rise, it would have gone a fair way yet. First look at Duncan Spencer. And the Kent crowd have loved that over. Finishing off the original rib tickler. Well, I don't know whether he's got a chest pad on, Adrian Dale. I suppose you wish he does. Well, you enjoyed that. I've never seen you enjoy a spell of fast bowling, but there again, you are about 70 yards away. It does help, doesn't it? <laughs> but, I mean, Kent needs something to happen. Uh, they, they can't just keep plugging away line and length because with nine wickets in hand, the Morgan are well station. They've got to try and get some wickets and that first over certainly suggests that with Spencer on and the Nackington Road end something's going to happen. I think that was pace more than anything. Uh, pretty handy first delivery. So, a small man. Reminds me rather of Danny Morrison, the New Zealand fast bowler with a, a slingy action. a carbon copy of the previous delivery. No real foot movement from uh, Hugh Morris. Oh! Well, that was quick. It was hostile and delivered at a very good line indeed. It actually came back a little at Morris, <laughs> who had both feet off the ground at the vital moment. Well, he ended up trying to guide it over Carl Hooper, I think, or certainly over the, the slip region. Well, that's good <laughs> running by Matthew Maynard. You have to admire him for that. Ooh, that's a good shout. He's got and he's out LBW. A wonderful breakthrough for Kent. 
and Spencer thoroughly deserved that. Maynard out for two. Well, he'd been bowling basically short of a length to Matthew Maynard, who's just staying on the back foot, and played him without any trouble from that length. But when he pitches the ball further up, Maynard still on that back foot, thuds into the knee roll, and really I don't think you can argue with that decision. The ball really was too full in length for Maynard just to be lodged on the back foot. You can't help feeling that his movement today inevitably was restricted. And what a hand now for the incoming batsman with Richards. This could well be the end of his professional career. And what a scene set for him which to bow out. He's always been a big man occasion, of course. And a standing ovation here for him. Well, that's a terrific sight, isn't it? It doesn't matter whether you're from Cardiff or Canterbury. The whole ground standing to Vivian Richards. Well, what a way to come in. Maybe a Kentish ploy, of course. <laughs> well, he's going to take his time with Richardson. Who can blame him? He's been desperate for Glamorgan to win something this year. They got very close to the Nat West, losing the semi-final down at Hove. behind that one and he's used to many a young pup tearing in and trying to let him have it well it's been a bit it's been a burden he's had to shoulder throughout when he was captain of the West Indies of course every young West Indian fast bowler wanted to show him how quick he was so he's used to that problem Oof. Well, Kent have really woken up here. Stinging blow in the ribs for the old 41-year-old. Well, that's a quick ball and thudding into Vivrich's chest. There's no question that it, it takes him longer now. Inevitably, at age 41, Steve Mars just hoping for a freakish dismissal there. It takes him longer to settle in. I actually saw him play here yesterday uh, and Dean Headley bowled with some pace and he was clearly uneasy at the start of his innings in fact he never really got going uh, Duncan Spencer to bowl to him Oof. this is a fascinating duel here from the young pretender young pretending quick bowler anyway against the old master and this is a vicious ball. It plays well in the end. Rears up at him quite nastily, but he's got over it, punched it down to his square leg. Won't be the first he's had like that. I'm not sure Spencer is a pretender. It's genuinely slippery to me. Just looking at that ball, I mean, Steve Marsh is standing further back than we've seen a wicketkeeper at any stage in the day. They've now put somebody in there. That will be out. It's a no ball. He's not out. But Richards doesn't know. <laughs> I think that David Constant has called that no ball for height. I think you could be right about being Viv's day. 
but it's certainly a very late no ball call is going down the leg side well, it's all adventurous stuff played in a wonderful spirit